Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Avinash Chakravarty, and in this video, we're going to see another interesting topic about how we can use function interface in in our Selenium automation framework. Right? We have already seen how we can use a uh, function interface implementation in an explicit byte, and we also see how we can handle that. Uh, handle the scale element reference exception with the help of the explicit weight and lambda. Good. In this video, we're going to see how we can use uh, uh, locator factory uh, with the help of uh, function interface implementation using a lambda expression. So, without wasting much time, let me get to my uh, IntelliJ workspace. Again, yes, if we if you find the video a little slow, please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2. Good. I have took a very simple uh, uh, use case where I am launching just the Amazon website, and uh, you know I'm I'm just basically clicking on the hamburger menu. So if I, if you guys want to see what the hamburger menu looks like, and this is what the hamburger menu is. So I'm basically clicking on that, and after clicking on that, I want to click on uh, some items listed here. Okay, I want to click on some items listed here. Since all these items are having a, a basically same X path. Okay, the only thing that changes. Is your is your text right? For example, let me take an example. Okay, if you notice very closely, all these things are having a same pattern. So they have a li tag inside that you know they all have a tag inside that they have TV appliances and electronics. So basically, if I write an xpath, so we can use uh, you know maybe a div tag. Okay, we can use div tag text equal to right. Good. And basically clicking on a div tag is not that good. So what I'm going to do, I'm finding the parent with a a tag. So clicking on a a tag is much better than clicking on a div tag. So, so I'm just trying to find this uh, x path. So this is the x path, right? So let me copy this x path. So, so this is the x path, right? So what I want to do, I, if I just change this one, this particular text, okay. With the mobiles and computers, it will click on mobile computers. If I change this to TV appliances electronics, it will click on that. So only thing that is changing is this. So what I can do, I can basically use a wildcard here that is percentage s, and at the runtime I can basically convert them. So string dot format format is a method where I feed this particular value, and the value that I want to replace is mobiles and computers. So at the runtime this x path will be constructed okay so this is the x path that will be constructed and it will be clicked okay so i am just basically trying to do the click so for doing the click you know i have two things okay i have a overloader method that accepts a by as well as x path so in this case we are using string right so from string you need to construct the by locator from by locator you can click on the element right you need to find the element using by locator and then you have to click so what normally we do uh, for clicking the hamburger menu, I can use the by locator directly because uh, it's it's not dynamic. But in this case, this is dynamic. So what I'm doing, I'm using a string, and the locator type is xpat. So the method here takes in a driver argument and then your locator type, whether it is id, xpat, name, or CSS. For example, I have only mentioned three here. You can add more. But this is how we write the normal way, right? We use a lot of if conditions or a switch cases to perform this task and we pass the value. So if this is ID, then we will find the element using ID and then we'll click on it. So this is how basically we do, right? So how can we write a better code using a Lambda? So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to replace all these things with the help of Lambda. For that, the thing that I'm going to do is, so I'm going to pass a string and then I'm going to get a by out of it. So this is basically your function, right? Function is an interface that takes in an argument here that takes in a string and returns me a by locator, correct? So this is what I want. So let me create quickly. Um, let's take an uh, class. Let's name it as uh, uh, maybe factory dot locator factory. Okay, something like this, some meaningful name. And let me keep it as a final. I don't want someone to extend this. And let me also shield my constructor because I have only the public static method, right? So I, there is no need to create an object for this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a map that stores, let's take a map, map that takes in a string. And value will be a function that takes in string and returns 
guys just be with me you can understand this very easily yeah map okay so let me import this by okay and let me also import the function from the java.util.function so new hash map for now yeah we can optimize this later but for now yeah and now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a lot of variables here so let's name it as function of uh, string comma by and the variable name is let's take x path so if someone needs an x path what i'm going to do basically they will give me some string okay some va string value what i'm going to do i'm going to find by dot x path value okay i'm going to return them the by locator right good so the, the the solar lint is doing some suggestion we will change it to you know method references later but for now if someone is uh, telling id what i'm going to do i'm going to find the element using id okay yes the same way okay you can write it for other things okay so for now i'm just stopping with the name alone okay good good so basically you can create for other locators as well so what i'm going to do i am using a static block so that i don't have to call this explicitly and uh, i'm going to load all these things here here okay if someone is telling x path okay i am going to give them the x path okay the same way you can load all these things okay so if someone is telling id i am going to give them the id that's basically text in your string uh, and then return them the byte okay same way for name as easy as that okay so once you do this you can create a public static uh, get method uh, that that's going to return you by type okay uh, get by locator maybe some meaningful name that takes in a string locator comma string value okay simply what i'm going to do i'm going to return okay return map dot Gets okay, whatever the locator they are passing, that's the key. So if they are passing x path, you know, map dot get, and then this value which will fetch me this x path. Okay, dot apply. I am gonna pass this value right. So whatever the value that I am receiving, the lo string locator, I am just passing to that. That's it, guys. Now you don't have to worry about if conditions, all those things. Other things are handled automatically. So this particular code, what I can directly do. i can remove all this maybe i will keep that uh, uh public void click using uh, java 8 something like this okay this just for our understanding guys okay so basically uh, i going to pass the same arguments okay string locator string value okay so what i am going to do i'm going to call locator factory dot get by locator what what is the thing i want to pass the locator okay locator is x path and what is what is the value so this is a value right so basically i don't need to this okay i don't need this i can directly call this so this will return me a by locator okay so i will introduce a new local variable um, let me name it as by okay and what i so i can do i i already have a method that is click i can call that okay and here i can pass the chrome driver okay then i might need the chrome driver so guys so i let me pass the driver then i have to pass the by so by is what that we have constructed now that's it guys so we are utilizing the code that we have already written okay let me simply explain guys we are writing a lot of if conditions here to avoid that what you have created we have created a locator factory and then we have created some map in this map if if the, someone is called uh, you know key is x path and the value is your lambda expression okay if someone is giving the value uh, the string uh, locator then we going to find a by locator for that and then we going to return it so as simple as that so we need to call this uh, get by locator from our class so code looks very easy right so let's see check whether whether it is working 
uh, to check that okay maybe instead of using this click method what do we have to do we have to click using java 8 okay and then we need to pass driver and then uh, we need to pass um, x path okay and then the value so the value is basically this okay which so let's try to run the test and check whether it is working good so we have still more optimization left guys so if you find the video a little slow please change the playback settings to 1.5 or 2 okay we'll do some more optimization with the method references okay so it loaded the site now it clicked on that it clicked on the computers as well so if you notice it clicked on that so it, it came inside this so the test also got passed so we, the, everything is working fine so how how else we can optimize this let's go here and if you notice you know this is we are taking in a value and then we are passing this value we are not doing any 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 changes to that value so what we can do we can basically replace this with method references that no that's it okay there is a by class and then there is a method called xpath whatever the value that you are passing i'm going to feed it to this method then you can use a double colon operator and then you can indicate like this okay so basically if you hover your mouse over this you can you can it will automatically use it for you okay now this is really cool right so what else we can optimize okay if you notice these three variables are just for our understanding okay if you can understand this okay java compiler can also understand that instead of calling this okay i can directly give the value here okay i don't need those very basically okay so you can directly right click this and then i can remove this so now the code looks much clean than before right so this is what i am telling so lambdas can help you to write much cleaner code than before so now the code is very very clean and if you try to run the test it will obviously work fine okay all we did is we removed the uh, references or variables that we had and then directly passed in the values itself right Oops. and guys i hope this video you find it very useful the test card passed i'll see you all in another great video until then tada bye bye from other guys bye